Hi, and welcome back. So once you have collected all of your materials, your photos, videos, put them all into one folder where you can access them. I have a few photos I took from over the weekend in Chinatown, this mural, an egg tart, also some videos of me in golden hour light in my bedroom, also a sunset dance that I did after getting vaccinated. So yeah, I hope you're excited about what you collected and no worries, there's always more time in the future to get more material and gather more objects and artifacts. And so let's figure out a way to connect our Zoom platform with another program called OBS. So let us make sure first and foremost that Zoom is the most updated version. So if we open Zoom, we can go to About Zoom in the upper left hand corner. So this version I'm using is 5.6.7. And if you want to update your Zoom so that it can be this version or higher, you can go to check for updates in the drop down menu in the upper left hand corner. So once you do that, we are going to go to OBS. If you haven't installed OBS, you may do so by going to obsproject.com and it's available in Windows and Mac OS, which is quite exciting when it's available on both platforms. So once you do that, you should have a program open that looks kind of like this. And in this tool, there's actually a plugin that they embedded called Start Virtual Camera. And this is a very handy tool because this will allow us to connect to Zoom using a virtual camera. So to illustrate, let me add in a file. So at the bottom, you'll see scenes, then sources, then audio mixer. We wanna look at sources right here. And there is a plus button here that you can click where you can add a media source or an image. So I'm going to add a media source, which is a video. Press OK. I have a local file, which is a file that is located on my computer. And we're going to go to our collage folder. And I'm going to choose the sunset dance that I just showed you. Press open, and I also want this to loop. So I'm gonna click loop, press okay. And now my video is playing. It's a vertical video, so I wanna flip this. So if you wanna right click on your mouse, there is a transform, which will allow us to rotate by 90 degrees clockwise. And right now my canvas is 1920 by 1080. So this video is a little bit cut off. So I'm going to shrink it a little bit by just dragging the corners and moving it to the center. So now once this video is placed, I'm going to start virtual camera. 
right here in the lower right hand corner and nothing is really different so we will actually be able to see the change in zoom actually so if you open up zoom start a new meeting you actually see that your video source now contains OBS virtual camera once that is activated. So you have your webcam usually, and then this should pop up. So this is selected. So therefore our image right now shows what the OBS is broadcasting. So this is very exciting because then we can kind of use Zoom as a way to digitally and virtually collage and perform any kind of media through OBS. Um, there's other ways to do this as well using other tools such as CamTwist and ManyCam. Uh, I found that this technique is the most reliable and straightforward, as I know CamTwist sometimes does not work with newer versions of laptops. So this is something that you can implement the next time you would want to do a virtual performance, a virtual showcase, a presentation. Um, yeah, you can do whatever is your heart's desire. Um, so I'm going to continue to collage and I'll show you how to do that. 